Okay, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and today I'm gonna be reviewing J Music Player since I got a request from the developer itself. So this is the app here, J Player. Well, unfortunately I have to turn down the brightness a little bit just to show you. So this is J Music Player, developed by Akshay Chordia. I don't know how to pronounce it. So he's from India and he developed this application. I have installed it and uh, I will be telling you in the following minutes the um, pros and the cons of this music app. So let's open it. I will begin with the cons, the bad parts of this app because there are a few and uh, they are not really <coughs> pleasant to have first of all is right here this is the menu here as you may see and you can close it by swiping r uh, left from right to left like this so you can so as you may see I'm swiping from uh, right to left and it doesn't close you can't close it by pressing the back button as you may see you can't close it you can only hide it by going into one of these categories here either uh, all songs or album or artists so I will go to all songs in order to close this so this is the uh, first bug I found with uh, uh, this uh, application the second one was the um, equalizer not working so if I play a song for example this let me turn down the music okay so if I go so if I go into settings right now, in order to, as you may see, says equalizer here. If I turn on the equalizer, I am not able to customize any of these low, mid or high frequency settings since it doesn't even move. So equalizer is not working. Lock screen widget is not working. It's not even showing, as you may see, the music is playing. And if I go to my lock screen, you won't be able to see anything apart my clock, and my camera widget, and so on. Getting back into the app, um, visualizer crashes. Crashes. So as you may see here, an option menu. It says visualizer. So if you press this you will get this message unfortunately J player has stopped and it will close all the music it will also start again and right now you saw that the menu bug was gone strangely very strange um, so these are the main, the, main, the main cons let's say that this isn't such a big one because it's been it's been auto fixed right now so the sidebar isn't a big one but the equalizer, the lock screen widget no working and of course the visualizer crashes, crashes the app these are some some bugs that you may want to take in mind before downloading this application now let's get to the pros uh, as you may see this app is beautifully designed it has a lovely design, a material look which uh, gives gives it a more minimalistic uh, look. As you may see, we have all kind of colors here, with the uh, ordered. These uh, songs are ordered uh, alphabetically, as you may see. Here you have some um, categories which can um, sort your uh, your songs, sort out your songs. So albums, artists, genres. Uh, playlists, folders and recents. So recents has got the recent played songs, recently recently added and most played songs. Another bug, as you may see, I have here a song called Lindsay Sterling Anti-Gravity. As you may see it says unable to play current song due to issue z code zero. Um, that song is a flak one so it's a loose less formatted sound uh, so 
in my opinion I think this player doesn't really support all kind of uh, formats kind of songs formats like uh, FLAC, ALAC and so on so yeah that might be another bug but uh, let's get back to the pros it has a simple user interface as you may see you won't get lost in it even if you open it for the first time uh, one thing I found it really 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 cool and uh, minimalistic in the same time is that when you open the app for example let's say you open the app and you just, just wanna uh, hear a song or listen to a song just press the sh this shuffle button and it will automatically play a um, a random song so the shuffle button is uh, really a plus here because if you don't want to search for a song or you just want to listen to some music without uh, searching a song you just press this uh, this button and it will automatically play a random song another pro pro um, thing that goes to this app is the ability to edit the tags as you may see you can uh, edit the the auto mod by selecting a local image from your device or by searching uh, a local website you can customize the title, the album, the artist, tags year, track number and moods moods yeah so if you uh, say that sh it's a sad song you should say sad and it will I think it will um, not really I thought that it was a category here that uh, will integrate your mood you know to play the song that uh, fits to your mood <laughs> when you're sad you listen to I don't know something sad um, so that was it with this app J music player it's a beautiful app it has potential but it's not near to be finished yet uh, developer has to do, make some research and uh, has to do some work about it. I hope this uh, review really helps him figuring what uh, what bugs he has to fix. So thanks for watching guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.